I'm Michael Bain and welcome to Triggered, coming to you of course from the secret hidden bunker in the Rocky Mountains, only this week is something special. They let me out of the house. I got to go to Columbia, Missouri, which is the home of American Outdoor Brands. They are an umbrella company, lots of brands that you're going to recognize. I got to see their new stuff and you're going to see it today. Since we're talking about new stuff, before I leave, I want to show you this light from Streamlight. came in the mail this weekend. It's a macro stream. It's got lithium ion battery, 500 lumens, and it recharges by USB. I'm a real fan of USB rechargeable lights because that way you always have one with a battery at 100%, and 500 lumens is pretty good. Let's go to Columbia. One of the biggest selling products in recent years has been the not shotgun shotguns. The Remington TAC-14 or their current semi-auto 13 or the Mossberg Shockwave. A lot of people bought those and thought, wow, what do we do with those kind of things? Well, the great advantage of having a laser on your not a shotgun is all of a sudden you can find uses for it. You see right over there, you got the laser, you got the green laser. Once you track that laser onto the target, well, that's where all those shot pellets go. So I'm thinking if you bought one of those guns and you thought, you know what? Man, this thing is a range toy. What you need is a laser, and then it becomes a serious defense weapon and one heck of a car gun. Okay, just because you go and look at guns doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be looking at guns. You think Smith & Wesson, you think revolvers, you think Jerry Michelick, you think semi-autos, M&Ps, but do you think throwing knives and tomahawks? Well, you should, because you Smith & Wesson actually has a line of <laughs> throwing knives and tomahawks. And you're thinking, well, why do I want to do that? Well, there's already bars in your area that are throwing tomahawk-type bars, axe-throwing bars. Don't ask me to explain it. It's completely beyond me. But the key thing is the way things are going <laughs> in this country, you're going to need everything you can lay your hands on. Let's go throw some hawks. Okay, Chris. If I accidentally stick one, okay? Oh, see how close that was? I need to stick the guns. This is the original Bianchi Cup range, and this was where the mover is run. The mover is run on Bianchi Cup. So each one of those yellow squares there, you're shooting those movers as they go across. Having done the Bianchi Cup, having filmed the Bianchi Cup, been here as a competitor, I can tell you that this is a heartbreaking stage when you shoot it with a pistol, unless you're Doug Koenig, in which case all the holes miraculously appear in the target. Doug knows zoom. But moving targets are great. I wish every range had moving targets. And with the red dot sight, it is a lot easier because your eye wants to track that dot. Of course, if you've been watching Shooting Gallery, you've seen Crimson Trace Red Dot Sights. I think season 19, we the first people to use them in a hog hunt, mounted on a Ruger Red Hawk 10 millimeter. Obviously, those sights work just as well on ARs. One of them is just standard battle sight that we're using. That's 1x magnification. The second larger unit is a 3x magnification Red Dot Sight. You notice how much slower I was, at least, on picking up that 3x optic. It's a little bit harder. You think, well, I'm just going to throw it up there, but because it's magnified, it's going to slow you down. But it has a really great potential as a hunting sight. One of the advantages of shooting on any kind of target that moves, a sliding target, a turning target, is that it gives you something else that you have to learn to do. That is, you can only shoot when the target faces you, when you have actually a sight picture. 
Now it used to be that turning targets typically were driven by gravity. They would drop, spin around, disappear. It was really a pain in the butt. But one thing that you're going to see here is turning targets that you can actually afford. Now it's really a great thing with these because all you need is a couple. So what's going to be happening is you can adjust the speed the target turns towards you, turns away, turns towards you, turns away. And that means that you're training yourself to shoot when the target is available. And that is a very, very valuable skill. If you can swing having your own turning target, that's going to add to your ability both as a competitor in the competition fields or as a self-defense shooter or what if you happen to be a hunter? I don't know if you've ever noticed this on game, but they just don't stand there and wait for you to shoot them. Oftentimes they move and this teaches you to understand when the target is available to you, that's when you pull all the way through that trigger. I just had the oddest experience of somebody talking in my ear out here on the range. I'm going like, where's this, where's this? What happened was I actually pushed the audible button on my iPhone in my back pocket and it began reading to me through my Caldwell electronic ears. Now, if you're familiar at all with, say, Apple Bluetooth earphones, you probably got some for your iPhone. This is a similar product, except it's designed to tamp down noise. So a really loud noise, this shuts down the noise. At the same time, because it is paired to a smartphone, you can hear music, you can hear somebody reading to you, you can even take a phone call, which you really shouldn't do if you're on the range because you really need to concentrate on, what do they call that thing? Gun. You need to pay attention to that. So the great thing about these earphones is MSRP is one where a sane, normal person can afford them. So you should be ready to step up into the 21st century with earphones that damp that funny loud noise over there. When triggered returns, I'm going to juggle these three throwing knives. Honest, stay with us. The revolutionary TCM from Rock Island Armory. Fire it once and you'll be hooked. The first thing you'll notice is its sonic boom and enormous muzzle flash as it hurls the exclusive Arms Core 22 TCM round downrange at a blistering 2,000 feet per second with penetrating impact. It shoots surprisingly easy with light recoil. The 17 round TCM series. So fun to shoot, it's like a thrill ride, only better. So that was the third in the line. This is the original AR-15 mag charger. Anybody on earth who shoots competition will do anything in the world to make loading magazines easier. That's okay. just the truth. This will make it easier and it'll work for all the different magazines instead of the 178 magazine loaders that you presently have in your house. It's three years ago or so. Uh, it's our pistol mag charger. We have built-in shims uh, on this item. This will take anything from 32 uh, single stacks up to 45 double stacks. Uh, the way this works is you can see right here, we have an indicator on the top. It aligns with your floor plate. So you adjust your shims where they need to be. We have a little, a little card that comes with it and it tells you what mag, what adjustments, five, three. You set it down. Crank it closed where it's nice to the thing. And I'm left handed, so I always do everything backwards. <clears throat> but you simply just take your bullet, drop it in, and squeeze. And it's that simple. That's doable. It's a, it'll do a, it'll do the big, the big 17 round mags uh, without any problem. The last squeeze is just, just as light and easy as the first squeeze. Want to try? You can teach your kids to do this, or if you have a reasonably intelligent Labrador retriever. Boom, you never load a magazine again.
this thing, pile driver, the pile driver, this will make me a better person. This is a bullet puller. So if you reload and you've made a little mistake, this will allow you to easily pull the bullet. It saves the brass and the bullet. And you're initially saying, good Lord, isn't that overkill? Well, I'm here to tell you it's not overkill because when you reload, sooner or later what happens is you have a bucket full of things you did wrong. For example, if you use a progressive reloader and an automatic primer filler, about one primer, two primers in those tubes that automatically fill are going to be flipped over, turned upside down. So what happens is out of 98, 100 primers, you've got 98 good rounds. What do you do with the other two? You throw them in the bucket. After a year or so, the bucket is this big, this big around, and you say, well, I'm going to just pull the bullets using an impact hammer where you screw the bullet in, tap it down, it separates. That will take you the rest of your life. This, on the other hand, makes it easy to pull a bullet, save the brass, save the bullet, and you know what? I might actually use this. This week's trigger is brought to you by Ammo Man. Still offering $10 off any order of $150 or more with the promo code TRIGGER. Lipsy and their wonderful guns of the month. Franklin Armor, creating some of the most innovative guns in America. And our two newest sponsors, Bull Quartzen, you're going to see some really nice 22s, and Taurus. I've got some real surprises for you on the Taurus front. If you're not using a red dot, you will be by next year. Ultimately, what started out as a range toy, the red dot sight, has become essentially a necessary sight. The reason is a lot of people's eyes get old. I'm not naming names here, but it may be me. The other thing is, it's quick to pick up. This is something we've talked about on the podcast for 15 years. We talked about it on the shooting gallery. I think the very first red sights that were available, you saw them first on shooting gallery, because when the gun comes up, you see the red dot. When you see the red dot, you pull the trigger. That is a tremendous advantage for a shooter. Now, is it a panacea? No, I wish it was. I won't lie to you and tell you that you put a red dot on your gun and you become Robbie Latham. Not quite. But it helps. And anything that helps you be a better shooter, especially a self-defense shooter, it's a very good thing. Okay, kids, that's it for this one from Columbia, Missouri. I hope you enjoy these new products from American Outdoor Brands. Can't wait to lay my hands on some of them, and then we'll have some more extensive tests. In the meantime, you can find us on michaelbain.tv. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us in your car seats where there's that sticky, gooey stuff that you can't identify. Till next week, michaelbain.tv. See you.